Hours ago, Texas Governor Greg Abbott was in Tyler to tout his proposal for school vouchers or what he calls school choice, a term used to describe programs that would give parents state money to send their kids to private and charter schools. KLTV's Blake Holland was there. Speaking at Tyler's Grace Community School, Governor Greg Abbott urged parents to support his push for school choice. I cannot stand alone and get this across the finish line. I need you standing with me every step of the way to make sure we empower parents to educate our kids better than any state in America. Under the governor's plan, taxpayer money would be used to cover tuition for parents who want to send their kids to private schools like Grace, a haven the governor says from the woke agenda being pushed in some public schools. And now has been exposed dramatically. And I got to tell you, anyone who thinks this is something that happens maybe in Dallas and Houston would be wrong. Jay Ferguson leads Grace Community and says he has prayed for a plan like this. Even with the money that we raise, a lot of times it's not enough to be able to provide everybody in East Texas and everybody in the Tyler and Smith County area who would like a Christian education that opportunity. And so this, this would provide that. You have five minutes. I know that much. The governor's speech included a call to action to voice support for the legislation to state rep Matt Schaefer who represents Tyler in the Texas House. Letting parents have greater say in the education of their child. And while the governor spoke inside, outside protesters gathered to make it known they are against the legislation. I'm against school choice specifically because the choice is already there for these private schools. You can go to private school, you can go to charter school now, but this specifically will take money away from our public schools. And if we take money away from our public schools, that's kind of a, the foundational members of our communities. And I want them to get all the resources from my taxes and my property tax. I don't want it to go to a school, a private school that would not even accept them because they are part of the LGBTQ community. Back inside, White House ISD Superintendent Dr. Christopher Moran was among those who came to hear the governor speak just one day after speaking out against the plan with other Smith County public school leaders, a position he maintains. You know, the position of the public schools is that uh, any uh, voucher or education savings account that comes out that encourages people to leave the public schools for which the governor and TEA are responsible for is a mistake. It's going to hurt the state as a whole. It's going to cost the state more money. And, uh, we, you know, we don't support that. In Tyler, Blake Holland, KLTV 7 News.